try to be as hype as the first time around. Let's go ahead and count this down for the Division 1-2 playoff. Best of seven between Sodium and Sidnev. We'll start in three, two, one. Tetris. On the left, finishing in Division 1B with a match record of zero and five. Trying to stay alive in Division 1. Playing with a 2.10 PB. Rolling out of the Isle of Man is Sodium Overdose. And on the right, finishing Division 2A in second place with a match record of 3-1, and one, losing only to the undefeated NGC men. She has a PB of 2.67. Rolling out of the Netherlands, it is Sidnev with the Fitz. You had to know that Fitz was coming. And in the early going... We ha only have one burnt line on either side here. Bang Tetris for Sodium. There's one for Sidnev. Summer, welcome in. I hope you're ready for some serious Tetris because this is a this is going to be a serious set. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Six in a row currently, and setting up another Fitz to keep the streak alive. I was going to have to take a burn there because that Z just didn't really go anywhere. A bang Tetris for Sidnev. There's a Tetris for Sodium. Another Tetris for Sidnev. You can see Tetris rates above 90% for both players. A very good start. Sidnev with another Tetris. Take another burnt line there. And Sidnev again with the Tetris. Very narrow lead here for Sodium at the moment. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Sodium building up. There's the Tetris for Sodium. Sidnev with one as well. Want to see that good long bar tuck. The old Vitz. Vertical eye tuck setup. Bang Tetris for Sodium. We'll see a lot of them on the right side. Almost a superpower that Sidnev has to be able to see those, set those up, and execute on them. Bit of a drought coming in here. And a long bar dependency being formed for Sidnev. Sidnev's going to plug the well and make a little trouble here. Sodium's staying clean, but still the drought continues. We're on 30 pieces and counting. Finally, Sidnev will take some lines there. Bang Tetris for Sodium. And in the end, that dig did not hurt Sidnev at all because the drought was just it was just that bad. <laughs> it is a one Tetris lead for Sodium, though. Sidnev will take a Tetris there. Sodium set up, ready to go. Needs a long bar, but gets a square instead. Just covers the well. It's going to take a couple more burns. That's going to even the score. I'm pretty sure Sodium is not happy with what's going on right now. They find out it's up the right side, but that Tetris for Sidnev will give her the lead. 17,000 points, both players with a Tetris. Bang Tetris for Sidnev, there's one for Sodium. Oh, where does that go? Sidnev choosing to place that Z on the left, but didn't get a piece to resolve that dependency, so I'll be a hole in her stack for a bit. As we've crossed the 100 line turn, nine Tetris for Sodium. Sodium has a 4,500 point lead. This has been close the entire way. No one's had more than a Tetris lead. Tetris for both players if we're piece for piece. You can see in the, that next bar, there are the same pieces showing up every time. Bang Tetris for both players.
Ooh, some rough pieces for Sidnev. Sodium will score a Tetris. We'll take the lead. That 25,000 points is probably the largest lead we've seen this game. As we're approaching the level 19 transitions, instead of playing one row up, Sidnev is opting to burn this down. Going for another square. We'll get that square. Bang Tetris for Sodium. 39,000 point lead. That's going to have to take some burns here as Sidnev has cleaned up. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. This should be a less than one Tetris lead at the transition. There's a 621,000 transition for Sodium. Good God. And Sidnev will also join the 600 club. 603. As we're off and running in level 19. Some bad pieces. Both players going to have to burn to start things off here in the post-transition. Sidnev trying to decide what to do. Ends up taking the burn from above. Keeps the right side open. Bang Tetris for both players. Bit of a lead for Sodium here. It's about a Tetris and a half. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Gets the T-spin done. Tetris for Sodium. Both players within 18,000 points of each other right now. Another Tetris for Sodium. A little bit of an awkward board here for Sidnev, but gets that tuck and the Tetris. And things looking a lot better. Bang Tetris for Sodium. Oh, those tucks for Sidnev. The speed at which she's executing that is insane. Another Tetris for Sodium. Sodium's just been playing some solid Tetris here. Oh, a couple of uh, awkward pieces for Sodium. It's going to cause him to burn here. This could give Sidnev the opportunity she needs to take the lead, but no long bars are coming as we're entering a bit of a drought. But finally, both players will get a long bar. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. And yes, Sidnev is indeed in the lead after this dig from Sodium. Another Tetris for Sidnev, and Sodium will uncover. 862 for Sidnev, 806 for Sodium. Level 24. And a bit of a slow post for both. Bang Tetris for Sodium. Of course, max out should be around the corner given how strong their 18 was. Another Tetris for Sidnev to go to 907. There's a Tetris for Sodium. 875. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Oh! That long bar didn't go anywhere for Sodium. Whatever happened, he's recovered from, but now it's going to have to dig a bit. Max out for Sidnev. 1,006,000. Mang Tetris for Sodium. Finds himself down by almost three Tetrises here. Bang Tetris. There's one for Sidnev. 1,047,000 for Sidnev. 9,54 for Sodium. Another Tetris for Sodium. Sidnev also scoring into level 28 with 1,083,000. Sodium enters at 991. Bang Tetris for the max for Sodium. And we're about to hit level 29. Fasten your seatbelts because this probably won't end right away. One million one hundred twenty-seven thousand for Sidnev into the kill screen. Sodium looking for the long bars, not going to get in time. One million sixty-three thousand for him, but we'll score a Tetris immediately on entering level twenty-nine. And now, ooh, this board for Sodium is very dependent on a long bar. He does not get it, and he's going to top out. And Sidnev, who was looking like she was in a bit of trouble. Managed to get, dig out and take game number one. Three, two, one, Tetris. So checking the prediction after that, I'm kind of not surprised by what I'm seeing here. 93% on Sidnev. I don't think the match is that. Like, I think if you put these two in best of sevens, I don't think Sidnev wins 93% of them. I would give Sidnev the label of favorite, though. So we 
get a bunch of Tetrises coming in, and again, it's just one burnt line early on between the players. These players keep comes. Oh, so I can start just, you know, talking about them. Oh, let's talk about these boards here, because see, I looked away for a moment, and both players have ugly holes in their stack. Sidnev is up really high here. Oh, I don't know if she wanted to adjust the square like that, but she did it, and it turned out to be okay. I think, maybe. Where's the long bar? There's no long bar. Sidnev in big trouble here and is not going to be able to get a piece over. And Sodium will take game number two. And we'll do it in three, two, one. Tetris. Yeah, Messex is a bit much summer. <laughs> Thanks, Hatcher, for Sidnev. As you can tell from, like, Colin's uh, response there. Hi, Messex. <laughs> How's it going, Messex? Welcome in. It's Hatcher for Sidnev. I am sure that most modern players understand that. This, uh, this looks like a uh, no burn start for Sidnev here. So it's going to have to take a burn here. And opens up that double well. Let's see how she handles this. I'm just gonna... Oh, this is so aggressive, but just takes the long bar for a triple. Oof. Mm. There's a long bar. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Long drought here, 30 plus pieces, but Sidnev plays it off just fine. He's going to get the Tetris. Sodium undergoing that same drought now. And you can see he is also managing it very well. Another Tetris for Sodium. And there's one for Sidnev. 5,700 point lead for Sidnev, but Sidnev also ahead by six lines. So pace lead over to Sodium. We're halfway through level 18. Bang Tetris for Sodium. Bang Tetris for Sodium again. There's a Tetris for Sidnev. The pace lead is less than a Tetris, by the way. This is still a very close game. Just about as good as... Uh, first game was so far. Bit of a messy board for Sodium. Sidnev will score a Tetris there. Sodium looking for a long bar, but now it's his turn to deal with this drought. Sidnev with another Tetris, and Sidnev now has a race to the pace lead. Sodium going to take that triple and opens up the right side. Bang Tetra for Sidnev. Sidnev is now in the lead. And Tetris for both players. Another 
Tetris for sodium. It's a Tetris for sitnaps. So now in a bit of a spot here. Needs a long bar, but this is a 25-piece drought that's rolled in. Gets a long bar well after she's covered the right side. But she's going to be able to handle it. But this is you know, right before transition here. It will give Sodium a chance to get back into this. And he indeed will take the lead. But it is a, only a 2,000-point lead right now. Tetris for Sidnef. Now the Tetris for Sodium. Sidnef gets that square over. Bang Tetris for Sodium. And into level 19. 527 for Sidnef. 568 for Sodium. Sodium having the better run after the turn. But Sidnev is kind of set up here. Just needs to get access to that hole in column six. And there it is. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Sodium set up on the right side. As Sidnev is going to try to burn this down. Get back over to her right side well. Bang Tetris for Sodium. Sodium with a three Tetris pace lead here. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Sidnev is playing ahead. Uh, and that came from playing close to the top near the beginning while Sodium was not. Nine Tetris for Sidnev. Sodium looking for a long bar here. Takes a burn and then bang Tetris. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Sidnev again with the Tetris. That's a real-time lead at the moment, but Sodium will reply with the Tetris. Sodium having to take a couple burns. Sidnev will score a Tetris there, so Sidnev climbing back into this, about a Tetris and a half down. Oh, that long bar to the left for Sodium. I, oh, I don't know about that. Doesn't get the snap either, so Sodium's going to be in a bit of a dig here. Sidnev has the lead. 785 to 726 with a six line difference. The difference is that Sidnev's gonna be able to score. Sodium will not for a bit. But Sodium very expertly taking care of the burns that he needs. And opens up the right side. So it's a 110,000 point lead for Sidnev. Bang Tetris for Sodium. Brings it down to 79,000. That 79,000 is a bit closer to what the actual lead is since they were one line apart at that point. We're at level 25. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Probably one of the largest leads we've seen this set. Another Tetris for Sidnev. There's one for Sodium. Both players with good looking boards are going to want to maintain this for the next few levels. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Getting the max out 1,013,000. Bang Tetris for Sodium. Another Tetris there for both players. Ooh, some interesting tuck setups here for Sidnev. Uh, didn't get the shift on the T, so this is going to be a rough transition for Sidnev, but this is a height that she can play at at this level. Here we go, level 29, 1.068 on the second transition. Sodium still looking for his max out. Will not get it before level 29. and might actually be in a bit of trouble here. Ooh, opens up that hole right before 29, but then pieces are just going to stack straight up to the ceiling. Sidnev going to take game number three. And take a two-to-one lead.
one. Sodium trying to hold her off. Game four and three, two, one. Tetris. Stack's getting up pretty high here, but Sodium will escape with a Tetris. Ooh, bit of a missed drop there for Sidnev. I'm gonna have to spend some time to resolve that, but still getting Tetrises with the stack. And another Tetris for Sidnev will bring her to 73,000. Sodium at 93,000 here in the early going. Another drought coming in. Both players set up for a Tetris, but no long bar coming. Finally, we see one showing up. Bang Tetris for Sodium. There's one for Sidnev. Oof. Tetris for Sodium. There's one for Sidnev. Tetris for Sidnev. Sidnev recovering nicely after the rough start. Still down by about a Tetris and a half. Nice aggressive play here. This would be a whale transfer if she can get the long bar, but does not get it immediately. So just going to commit to this column three. Nine Tetris for Sodium. There's the Tetris for Sidnev. Bit of a dirty Tetris into column three. Can't quite get the whale transfer. The long bar is not falling her way. There's another one. Bang, Tetris. Continuing with this column three setup. I mean, if the game's going to keep giving her squares like this to keep the left side built up, why not? Another Tetris for Sidnev. Didn't quite know what to do with that one, but it's going to use a T to burn that away. But now we're going to see a little bit of digging from Sidnev. Bang, Tetris for Sodium. He's got the lead here. 55,000 points, about halfway through level 18. Sodium with a bit of a messy board, but should be able to clean this up. Can use that square to clear away a couple of those lines. And very nice clear with the L. Tetris for both players is Sidnev has brought this down to a less than Tetris pace lead. There it is. 16,000 points is the lead right now for Sodium. Bang Tetris for both players. That was a scary tuck for Sidnev. She had moved the piece over too far to the right and had to tuck it twice. But it worked out. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris for both players. There's the line spin for Sidnev. Love to see it. Trying to get Tetris ready. Sidnev running into a bit of a, or sorry, Sodium rather, running into a bit of a slowdown. But now the drought coming in, and both players not in an ideal spot to score. Some good plays here from Sidnev. 
Ford's a little scary, but she is navigating it just fine. Gonna get a tuck there. Bang Tatris for Sidnev. And Sidnev currently down by 56,000 points. Two Tatrises away from transition. Here's a Tetris for Sidnev. Bang, Tetris for Sidnev. Both modern and classic think the other version is bad. That is not true. I like them both. I'm equally bad at both of them. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Tetris for Sodium, 57,000 point lead as we have another drought coming in. This one's going past 30. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Is this the same drought? Yeah, this is the same drought for Sodium. Sodium well behind in the piece count. So Sodium does have a 37,000 point lead, but it's also hit by seven lines. So effectively, this is neck and neck. When you take that pace into consideration, Sidnev having to burn some lines there. Another Tetris for Sodium. We saw another 20 plus drought happen there. Sodium Sporad. Not all that great at the moment, and this drought not helping. Sodium going to be losing some pace here, and just like that, that's a six digit lead for Sidnev. 120,000 points and counting. Another Tetris to go to 150 in the lead. Sodium will finally strike back. Needs a long bar here. It's only good for a single, but it is so crucial. It took him forever to get it, and now it's a long bar dependency again, but fortunately he gets a second long bar right away, and then bang Tetris. But still, the damage is done. Sidnev up by 150,000 points. Now she is ahead by eight lines, but still, that makes the lead pretty big anyway. It's about three Tetrises in pace. Looking for a long bar here, Sidnev. Keeping the stack nice and clean. Nice tuck there. And the long bar. Bang Tetris. And another Tetris. As we're approaching level 29. Another Tetris for Sidnev. The max out 1.071 into level 28. Tetris, another Tetris for Sidnev. It's got the 1.1. That's going to have to burn into transition. 1.142 is the level 29 transition score. Sodium is yet to max. This is going to be a tough ask for Sodium. But his board is down towards the bottom and is going to score Tetris into transition. 1.033 will be his transition score. But now he's got to outscore Sidnev in the kill screen. And right now, that's just not happening. Sidnev with a 210,000, now 249,000 point lead. That is a quarter million lead that she had for a brief moment. And it's back again. Looking for a long bar to extend that even higher as Sodium still not getting into scoring position here in level 29. 1.3 for Sidnev right now. Sodium, or Sidnev in a bit of trouble. Sodium's clean, but not in an ideal place to score. Nice burn for Sidnev. Two flat long bars. Oh, where's Kingsman for that? Bang Tetris for Sidnev. 287,000 point lead. Sodium's board falling apart. Bang Tetris for Sidnev to go to 1.4 as Sodium tops out at 1.1. Sidnev 
Going to take game number four. She's going to play this out, I'm sure. Another Tetris for the 1.5. Bang, Tetris. One more for the rollover. Oh, missing the T. That should it still should be fine for the rollover here. There's a long bar. 1.60, oh, uh, 1.64. Another Tetris. And here it comes. Where's the long bar? Maximizing the points here. There it is. 1.74 for Sidnev. Colin says sodium wins by 952,000. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a 1.74 for Sidnev. We'll find out in three, two, one. Tetris. Oh, Sodium had started a little early. That's fine. He's he's low key wanting to get this over with. <laughs> Bang Tetris for Sodium. Don't worry, you're fine. You're fine, Goa. Another Tetris for sitting up there. Oh, there's our Vitz. It's quite delayed. There's the long bar for the Vitz. Another Tetris for Sodium. Ooh, Sidnev with a bit of a hang there. This is low enough that she can take care of it, and it's going to get a Tetris to make it even lower. Uh, this will take some lines to burn. And with Sidnev struggling a bit, Sodium has a lead. And she says, my brain said to bet Sidnev would win, but my heart said to pray that Sodium wins. So I only get obliterated by 200,000 instead of 400,000. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. So I feel like we haven't seen Sodium's best game yet. We know Sodium's got 29, but has not really had an opportunity to show it off at any length today. did get somewhat deep in the kill screen, but was unable to really score any points. There's Tetris for both players. Dewey says, I always feel like we don't see Sodium's best game. Oh, no. <laughs> Dewey, no. <laughs> Dirty Tetris for Sodium. How many rows up was that? Seven? Got aggressive play. It opens the right side as well, and there's another long bar. Bang, Tetris, Sodium. Is on fire this game. 321,000 through 59 lines. 78,000 point lead as well. And we'll score another Tetris there. Another Tetris. Long drought here. Bang Tetris for Sodium to end it. And another Tetris as well. Both players showing some good drought management. Sidnev setting up a tuck. We'll get that Tetris. And another one. And then just slides that T into there. Very nice. Again, the drought management from both players looking real sharp. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Sidnev having to deal with a double will. Another T-Tuck for Sidnev. Sodium, though, is just is fairly dominant this game. He's kind of fallen off the 650 pace, but still is ahead. Currently by 81,000 points. And into another drought, too. Tetris for Sodium. 
Sidnev playing this really high. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris for Sodium. Sidnev just stone cold through all that too. Just like trust. Trust that the long wire will show. There's a Tetris for both players. Another Tetris for Sidnev as we're past the turn. 80,000 point lead for Sodium. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris for both players. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. We're approaching the transition for game five. Sodium looking to stay alive. Sidnev looking to finish him off. Sodium already with the 600,000 has regained the 650 pace, but don't think he's going to realize it here because of these pieces. And this is right before transition. This is actually a little scary, but can open up that right side, gets a long bar, bang Tetris into transition, 639. And here comes Sidnet, bang Tetris, 597. And with Sodium cleaned up, he's got the lead and he's got some room to start trying to run away with this. Sitting up having to take a couple of burns here. Bang Tetris for Sodium. There's a Tetris for Sidnev into level 20. Another Tetris for Sidnev. So there's your real-time lead. 41,000 points in favor of Sodium. Bang Tetris for both players. There's a long bar for Sidnev for the Tetris. There it is for Sodium. Another Tetris for Sodium. Sodium getting up there, but ooh, this is a aggressive. There it is. Bang, dirty Tetris for Sodium. Very aggressive setup there. Not going to be able to do it this time, though, because of the hole over in column 10. And this is trouble for Sodium. He's getting some nice pieces to resolve these dependencies, but nowhere for the square. Sidnev has caught up and taken the lead. Sodium digging. His life depends on this dig, and he'll finally open up the right side, but Sidnev... Damage done. She's got the lead. 860 to 809. Bang Tetris for Sodium into level 25. Another Tetris. So he's got the real-time lead back, but Sidnev will just steal that away in short order. 50,000 point lead for Sidnev. Another Tetris for Sidnev. There's one for Sodium. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Tetris for Sodium. Sodium in trouble again. Oh, wow, what a burn. Still digging. Sidnev going for a dirty setup in column three here. We'll get it. Bang Tetris. She's got the max 1.05. Sodium should be able to max before 29, but Sidnev's going to have the lead once again. Bang Tetris for Sodium. There's the Tetris for Sidnev. One Tetris remains for both players. It is a 111,000 point lead for Sidnev. Bang Tetris Sodium 1.06 into the kill screen. I'm not killing him yet. But I think he really has to hope for something bad to happen to Sidnev, and that might. Okay. Sidnev will get access to that left side, but Sidnev will not be scoring immediately here. This is actually a scary board for Sidnev right now. Leads a long mark, gets it for the triple. Sidnev set up, needs a long bar. 
But we're in a drought. Barrett is finally bang Tetris 1.2. Sodium with a 1.1. Another Tetris for Sidnev, 139,000 point lead. Oh, and Sodium not getting the long bar. He's going to top out. Sidnev, you're good for game five and the match. Let's watch her play this out. I believe if that uh, Sidnev has to play NGC before deciding who goes to Div 1, but uh, I don't know if I'm NGC. <laughs> I watched this match. I'd be like, um, help? So there you go. GG's. The winner scene up there it is. Sidnev. Taking the set four to one. With some impressive gameplay. We had a 1.74 in there. Oh, bye, Sidnev. So, Club, but this is best of seven, so keep that in mind. We're going to count this first game down here in three, two, one, Tetris. All right, both players have started. players playing a little differently with the same mindset though uh, they may have done it a little differently but they are both stacking that left side up really high trying to get that built out to uh, to uh, play with maximum efficiency Risu will get the first Tetris and Akami follows suit Risu with that very nice double wide built out Well, Anakami a little bit dependent here on a J or a Z spin. There's the spin. It's actually an S, not a Z, but you win some, you lose some. Gets another Tetris, does Anakami goes up to 70,000. 73 here for Grizu. Bit of a misshift of that S piece there for Grizu. Gonna cause some burning. Ops to keep the right well built out rather than play or uh, playing off a of row one. We'll end up playing off a of row one anyway, so it's gonna want to burn this down. Is it doing just that? It probably is. Grisayu. They can confirm after this. I'll say Grisayu for now, so I don't confuse myself, but. They can confirm how it's pronounced after this. <laughs> 164 for Anakami. 108 for Grizu. Another Tetris for Grizu. They go through 131. Anakami with a bit of a spire there in the middle. That could be scary. Gets a nice tuck of the square. Would love a T piece now. That would be beautiful. Fills up the right side or left side with the bar. And I think he meant to spin that, but missed the spin. Yeah, I don't have a command. I'm not special. <laughs> 222 here for Anakami. Cleaned up that board very nicely. 203 for Grizu. Very close start here. S tier commentary. Uh, eh. Not today. I'm I'm tired, bro. <laughs> I gotta ruin my sleep schedule. I got I got a restream tonight at like 10 p.m. for Anpu and Poopy Old Hag. And then I have to wake up at 6 in the morning for a CTM bracket. So that's going to be that's going to be a fun day. What else is fun? Let's give us gore updates. 248 for Anakami. 254 for Grizu. Anakami getting kind of high. The L will open the well. There's the bar to help as well. Greshiu. Okay. I got two people telling me. I'll, I'll accept it as fact. <laughs> 
285 for Nakami, 281 for Greshu. Very, very close here. Takes that safety double. And gets another Tetris. 306 now for Greshu. Nakami almost built that one Mino off. Will fill that one Mino with the bar. It's now set up for two just like that. And there's one bar. 311 for Anakami. Would love another one to show. And there it is. It goes up to 334. 330. Make it 353 for Greshu. Very, very close here in the, the first game. Anakami's left side getting really high. Takes a double of the square. Tucks the jade. Needs a bar and needs it right about now. We'll take that triple. Gonna help a lot, but still. Needs that bar and gets it. And Grishu opting not to do the spin with the L. That would have resolved that quite cleanly. Um, but should be fine. That bar is going to help a ton. And adjust that S for the square. Beautiful J. Clean board. And Akami still cleaning out of that mess that they somehow survived. <laughs> And players are nearing transition about 15 lines away. More like 10 for Anakami. Not going to be the highest of transitions for either player, but in comp, the, high, the higher the score doesn't necessarily matter if your opponent isn't also scoring high. So it's a close game here. 385 for Anakami, 421 for Greshu. And Anakami will be the first to transition. 409. Guess you have 444 with the Tetris to spare. Take that burn to help the stack just a little. There's the bar. And goes to transition 469. Or 36 now for Anakami. Colin, did you like read at all? <laughs> 464 for Anakami getting up high, gets that bar over. Grishu about to take the lead here. And gets that bar in only for a double though. That bar will help a lot. Anakami's board still climbing. <laughs> Can't get over that call. <laughs> 529 for Anakami getting clean. Makes bar dependency, but the bar shows in a very timely manner. Able to bring that down. And Grishu with a dirty Tetris, apparently, that I missed while looking at Discord. <laughs> but another Tetris. That's a 569. 540 for Anakami. This is still a very close game, all in all. Wasn't able to get that square over. Need something for that left side. Does Anakami get that square, that T flat, and the bar? Beautiful combo. Just about open. Does have to make a bar dependency. This could be bad. Need something for the left side. Just. Spams that piece to the left. It's not even the best piece for it, but all he could muster. I'm gonna top out 550. Greshu at 609 is good for the first game. In three, two, one, Tetris. Early burns here for Greshu. And Akami as well, having to take a few. Opted not to spin that T, gonna create some awkward holes. Now playing off one rope, he gets a dirty Tetris and cleans it up just like that. It's the first Tetris of this game. No, honestly, both these players are playing on emulator 
So if you squint hard enough, it pretty much just looks like we're on Max Out Club. So like, not even that big of a deal, to be honest. <laughs> Anakami playing one-handed for a moment there. 76,000 for him. 38,000 for Grishu. Takes a nice double to square. No, I, I, I saw it. it. It didn't work when I tried to do that. Weird. Not sure. I'll, I'll toy with it later. But Anakami getting kind of high here. 128. 91 for Grishu. Kind of a wonky board here for Grishu at the moment. Is filling it out. Also just taking a lot of burns, creating a lot of holes. And a Tetris for Grishu to get a 148-221 for Anakami. Getting kind of high, just open up the well. Goes up to 224. He's waiting for the bar. There it is. Gets another Tetris. 247 now for him. And another. You got a 269. 148 here for Grishu. There's the T-Spin for Anakami. I was looking for that. Finally showed up. Did not have to fill out the board to wait for it, which is something you always like to see. Anakami really maintaining this 100,000 point lead at the moment. It's slightly ahead in lines, but it doesn't really matter because the lead is quite large. It's not going to change too much. Only behind or ahead by about a line or a Tetris worth of lines. Grishu butterfly tapping, I believe so, at least on the really fast taps. What it looks like. Also, happy birthday, Wallbant. Hope you're doing well. Merry Christmas, all the good stuff. In a comment here, 456 at 104 lines. This is a quite a good start here. We got 318 for Grishu. Now behind two Tetris worth of lines, so pace lead maybe only about 80,000. Still quite a bit though. Dirty Tetris for Anakami for 80 now for him. Players nearing transition, though Anakami a lot closer, only eight lines away, two Tetrises. And this is a really dependent board now with some holes in it, taking his head in disapproval. Likely going to be digging all the way till transition, then probably even so in. I think he thought that line flat would burn. Transition's 520 up real high. Meanwhile, 10 lines to go for Grushu. Anakami's board's climbing higher and higher by the second. Getting some nice burns to start to bring it down. Needs to unblock that right side. Beautiful flat burn. Added some more weight to it yet again. 
Rush U transitions 466. Anacombi's clean with the Tetris, playing playing off of row one, but only for a moment. Clean it back up pretty quick. Looked a little shocked. He's like, how did I get out of that? That was one heck of a dig. Meanwhile, Gushu, still level 19, gets another Tetris to go to 494. And I caught me ahead 20 lines. So we really have to take this lead with a grain of salt at this point. Now Kami not going for that triple. We'll go for that one though. Beautiful double to square there for Gushu. And opens the well, transfers it back to the right with that burn. There we go. And another Tetris for Gushu. Only behind 50,000 points and then behind almost 20 lines, so. I think we could definitely say this pace is perhaps in the favor of Greshiu. Assuming he gets out of this dig soon, of course, because that can kill the pace. Adds more weights to that. Takes a triple. And Akami 703, 604 for Greshiu. So 100,000 point difference. The line count was closing there for just a moment. Gushu needs to start Tetrising to take advantage of this line count differential. It's a high up tuck. The Anakami's board is starting to fall apart a little bit. Nothing's burning. Is a tapper, but can he get anything over? Tops out 739. Gushu, you need 740. This is not free. This could be a rough dig here. But Greshu's board is falling apart. I'm gonna top out 651. Giving the the game to Anakami. So let's not dilly dally. Let's start with game number three here. Count it down in three, two, one, Tetris. Early days here, Anakami perfect for three, though this stack is probably not going to allow to keep that streak to continue. It's going to take a single to square. I think he thought that would take a double, a little bit of a phantom burn. But it's fine, just going to give Grishu the chance to claw back a little bit, perhaps. course for people just joining perhaps um this is a best of seven there's no best of seven layout for a non max out club game because you know all the best of sevens are intended to be on max out club but due to this technical difficulty we're forced to use this layout so whenever if it comes to that you know the fourth win will just be a, a transfer to the winner scene perhaps hello eve merry christmas how are you doing Galaxy Biscuit is here. I'm not sure I see Deck in the chat though. Galaxy Biscuits. I'm not sure who you're saying hi to. That's not me. Tetris for Anakami goes to 176. 119. Make it 142 for Grishu. Move that keyboard a little bit. Tapping ferociously. Anakami adding some weights to that hole there, column one. Gonna need to bring that down. Ryan gave me mod and Beepo Monk. I feel like Palpatine. 
I got mod because I said Ryan pings are good one time. Like I joined Beeper Monk and a day later I was mod because I was like, I like Ryan pings. Everyone else, yeah, it's pretty much true. Yeah. And Akami gets a bar for that Tetris, left well, set up for another one too. Would be a perfect bar if it came soon. Be able to transfer that well perfectly. Unfortunately, did not show up in time. Was a little late to the party, so. Now Anakami forced to do a little bit of burning. Is now set up again. Miss shifts that, but a beautiful solve with the T. Quick thinking there from Anakami. All right, gonna try again for the perfect well transfer. Bar would do just that, but doing some creative solves, but RNG is not complying. But Grishu's board is not the best either. 206 for Grishu. 286 for Anakami. Another left wall Tetris for Anakami. Very clean now. Would love Jade just to transfer that well. Actually, he's not going to transfer the well. We'll take the triple finally. Made the right decision. Made like four different decisions, like committing to the left well. And the game's like, come on, come on, take the good pieces, transfer the well back. And he's like, okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> and come and get that T over to Tuck. And we're nearing the 100 line mark, but that left side is impossible for something to go over for Grishu. I'm going to top out at 225, giving Anakami third game. GG. I did co-commentary with Richard Wolf the other day. And, uh, it was fun, but, like, I'm so bad at, like, interrupting by accident. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of co-commentary. I, don't, I think it's easier if you're in person to have a co-commentator because you can kind of like tell when they're about to talk but like when you're doing it over discord it's like you're bound to interrupt each other a lot it's just not not the best yeah there's people who are good at it even online i'm just not one of them <laughs> Like, I did wars with Colin one time, and I was also interrupting Colin a lot by accident. Nonetheless, I need 2,000 here for Grishu and Akami at 56,000. Make it 79 with that Tetris. So, close start here, but it is the very early days. So, certainly anything can and likely will happen at some point. Of course, Anakami up 2-1 to one in the set. Need four wins to take it, though. Yeah, the GD Colin duo is like the goaded duo of classic Tetris. It doesn't get much better than that. I won't. I won't lie to you. Oh, but what won't get better is this board, perhaps for Grishu. Gonna get that bar. It came in a very good time. Almost did not get over. Now Anakami's turn to suffer a little bit. Get some nice pieces to solve this a bit, but not out of it. Yeah, that's, that's GD's mic. Whenever you're with him, it's like, yeah, it's it's his. He's talking. You let him talk. All right, both players cleaning out, clean, cleaning out of their situations. Words are hard. I won't lie to you, folks. It's kind of tough. That's okay. We got 212 now for Nakami. 196 for Greshu. Still has that whole column six or seven. That's seven. I can count. I can count. I definitely can do that 100 percent oh not adjusting that t so wasn't able to burn that down that would have been a very great solve for Greshu, but did miss that 
We'll be forced to do some more burning. Don't lie on air. I can't do math. Is that, is that the lie? Or what else did I lie about? Math. Okay. Okay. All right, then, bro. I can't do math, obviously. 12 is the call in. It's 12. 349 for Anakami ahead. Of over 100,000 points. 235. Make it 230, 258. See? Numbers, man. 258 for Greshu. I mean, 8 plus 6 is 14. Easy. Got Tetra Nexus in the chat. Hello, hello. Hope you are doing well. Anakami set up for a couple Tetrises. Gets one. Actually, it's not set up for two. I thought they were. That was under 100,000, not over. You can't do math. For real. <laughs> I don't even remember what you're talking about, but you're probably right. Rishi, you're going to transfer that well to the right side. He's going to play it safe. He's already behind quite a bit. So might as well play it safe and try and survive. Perhaps outlast Anakami. Or just play more efficient in the 19 speeds. We'll have to see what happens here. The last Grishu building up kind of high. Take some more burns. And it's clean. But Anakami not letting up. 491. Make a 514 for him. 343 for Grishu. But I just noticed again the line counts. Very different. About 13 lines separating. So pace lead is not as big as the lead may appear to be at the moment. Danikami will transition with the next Tetris. Just needs that bar. And there's the bar for the Tetris just in time. 563 transition for Anakami. Gets another Tetris to boot. 587. Reshu, meanwhile, is very clean, very low. Just waiting for some pieces to set up. We'll have to do a burn so can only get one more Tetris now for the transition. It's setting up a lot of awkward pieces this is not going to be a great transition now this could be very scary in fact and we'll transition 441 gets that bar over but hangs the second one to the left gonna top out 441 so anakami you're good for game number four and it may appear that's over but it's not there's just not enough heart slots anakami still needs to win one more Yeah, geez. So what happens is like all the div or not div, uh, all the best of seven matches are playoffs and usually playoffs are dedicated to be on Max Out Club. So when they were creating these layouts, they didn't they didn't make a best of seven normal layout because they uh, they thought that it would never be needed because they're all supposed to be on Max Out Club. So probably should make one just in case and for the future like this but i mean it's it's fine we make do because they're the only time it's ever best of seven so it's the only time we ever need it is when they're required on max out club zempro said what i just said in about one sentence when i used like seven but <laughs> peak will fix it in post that's true real and true Really dig here for Greshu. Gonna need to bring this down a little bit. Gets a bar for the Tetris. That will certainly help. Still has that hole there. Column 7. Got up for a dirty now. That would not open the hole still. He gets tired of... Is getting tired of being paid in Cheesecake Factory gift cards. Dude. I feel like with one of those gift cards, you can't even get anything there because everything looks so expensive. I looked at the menu the other day. It's crazy. You can get like two chicken strips for like $15. Like, sue. I'm suing. No, absolutely not. But what I absolutely will do is give a score update because Anakami is at 188. Greshu is at 68,000. So a big early lead here for Anakami. 
gift cards are a thousand dollars that's like five chicken strips that's not a lot Got Uno in the house. Hello, hello. And Akami building kind of high. Opted not to spin that piece in, creating a bit of a hole there. Should be fine. We'll open it up. That Z will certainly help. The T will open the well. We're good to go. 241 now for Anakami. 119 for Grishu. She's clean again, just needs to fill up that left side a bit to get Tetris ready. Or we'll do it after that square. There we go. Now we're actually Tetris ready. And there's a bar for the Tetris. 171 for Greshu. 288 plus another 8 for Anakami. Bit of a misspin there for Anakami, but results it with just one burn. Very, very nice there. Greshu getting kind of high. Needs to get this down. Cannot afford to lose another game. Will lose the set. Beautiful triple into the Tetris though for Greshu. Goes to 226, 370 for Anakami. Anakami just consistently getting these, these very monstrous leads early on. It also is consistently getting ahead over double digit lines. I think it's good. Grishu uh, plays a lot safer it seems. Takes a lot more burns and keeps the board a lot lower whenever possible. So that probably helps with keeping the line count going up a lot slower compared to Anakami who's building high, playing aggressive, getting through those pieces a lot faster. But or 62 for Anakami, 319 for Greshu. This is a 150,000 point lead, but 30 lines to still go in 18. Um, let's see. Anakami is in Division Three, and Greshu is in Division Four. Anakami fighting to stay in Div 3. Anakami nearing transition. Two more Tetrises. Now only one with that double. Needs a bar soon. Doesn't have a lot of burn options on the right side, but there's the bar for the Tetris. Transition's 562. And another bar to boot. There we go. 586 now. Reshu still has three more Tetrises available. Can transition with a high 400. Still going to keep him in the deficit. Anakami is playing so aggressive here. It's another Tetris. Go to 618. Sets up a delayed burn, and there's the solve. There's another safe play there from Grishu. Just taking those burns, wanting to get the board down before transition. And gets a Tetris, transitions 466, behind 22 lines, by the way. <laughs> that is five and a half Tetrises behind in lines. We'll get another score there. Not sure if it was a Tetris or not. It was a 474. Sets up some burns there. I would have personally rotated that a couple of times, set up like a delayed burn kind of thing. But Grishu did make it work out. Goes to 479. Gets another Tetris of Weld across 500,000. Anakami already 716. Ahead 210,000 points. And counting. Do have to keep in mind that line, line difference. So it is not nearly as major of a lead as it shows. But still is a lead, I do believe, for Anakami.
814 now for Anakami. 547. Make it 576 for Grishu. But my point stands that this is one heck of a lead. Hi, Alex T. The, we don't have a best of seven uh, non Maxo Club stream. So currently it's three to one. You need four to win. But the fourth win will just be a winner scene transformation, which looks like it may be happening very soon for Anakami. Unless Grishu can get something over, they cannot, unfortunately. Which means the winner here today is Anakami. That's the wrong scene. I mean, that's still technically true. Anakami. There we go. Second tries to charm. But yeah, let's let's see. Let's go back now and see what Anakami can do here at the end. 965. One tetris away from a max. I'm gonna top it out. Didn't want the max out. Anakami said, I don't want a max out. I don't need those. I win anyways. Back to the winner scene since there's no max out. <laughs> GG.